How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Hubbard's Cave up in this piece, in the form of their hazelnut coffee cakes. Yeah, look at that sucker. Um, this is a 12% alcohol by volume imperial stout with coffee, maple syrup, and hazelnut. There you go. With Sputnik coffee. Uh, it says 2020-2, so I assume it's from February. Flavored imperial stout. That's the way you like to go into these beers. Uh, brewed at Ann Brewing in Niles, Illinois. Okay, Hubbard's Cave. I've had a little bit of a good luck, bad luck. Ooh, that was a weird pop on there with Hubbard's Cave. Uh, so we'll see what's what. This comes courtesy of my boy Mike from Jersey. Uh, he sent off a bunch of beers via Tavor. He put a little box together for me, paid for it, sent it off, and this will be one of them. There's a couple set big stouts in there. Um, in the cans, there's a 12%, there's a 15% stout. <laughs> it's going to take me a little bit to get that one. But it was, it's all right. You know, it's plain, simple. Flapjacks and some coffee. What do you want? Put the word hazelnut on it. Beer wise, motor oil. What I'd like my coffee to look like color wise. Let's get a nose. I mean, it really does come off as all parts of this beer. You get this big nut component outside of the maltiness. It's a rich, kind of like dark, kind of chocolatey, slightly, slightly nutty maltiness. You open and you get that big hazelnut pop from those hazelnuts. Um, you're getting a decent amount of maple syrup comes off a little bit strong in the nose. We'll see how it comes off in the taste. But it kind of makes sense is that whole kind of breakfast out kind of thing going on. And it's got this soft kind of vanilla lactose -y kind of vibe going on to it too. Um, I don't see anything in here about uh, lactose, but it does have that, maybe that's the sweetness of the hazelnut kind of flitting, flirting around there. And this little waft of coffee in the back. A decent amount of coffee in the back, but that maple syrup is kind of trumping all that. So I'm kind of curious to see how this comes off in the taste. Cheers. I like that. Mm. I mean, it's sweet. It's a big imperial stout. It's sweet, but it finishes. It doesn't finish dry, but it finishes dry enough for a beer uh, this big of sweetness. And maple syrup, while being the start of the show, doesn't overpower all the beer. Bittering from that roasted malt cuts through, that coffee cuts through. The maple syrup almost adds like a subtle like dollop of a lactose sweetener to everything. And then you, that hazelnut, I think, is kind of like the little bit, uh, that little dash on top of it that really kind of brings it home and wraps it all together because it, it just brings a, a richer, less sweet component to the beer um, that I think is sorely needed for this thing not to get overly sweet. Every time I take a sip, not that I've taken a ton of them, but every time I take a sip, it's a hit. Quick sweetness drops off. A little bit dusty, a little bit drying, kind of that hazelnut vibe kind of going in there. Coffee hits, the bittering hits. The more I talk, the more I don't take another sip. All that bitterness and softness and earthiness kind of floats away, and that sweetness starts to build, 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 and that um, maple syrup really comes out. It's a very explosive beer, uh, especially if you take time between sips. And I think this is probably one of the better examples of these kind of breakfast stouts that I've had as of late. Um, I think these tend to get a little bit too heavy handed in the kind of lactose vanilla thing with the maple syrup being big on here. If you had those other components in a big aggressive form, I don't think it would be something I'd be able to drink. But because of how uh, bitter and roasted malt this comes off, because that coffee is involved, because that hazelnut involved, it acts as like a counterbalance to all that big sweetness. It makes it quite a bit more drinkable, at least for this guy, in a very fun way. So yeah, I don't know what else you want to say. It's a tasty pastry breakfast stout, and probably one of the better ones I've had. Is it Mount Rushmore status? We'll get to that part. No. But it's on the outside looking in that it's actually really damn pasty. It might be the best Hubbard Caves beer, Hubbard's Caves beer, there you go, words, uh, baby brain, um, that I've had as of uh, late or ever, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, let me think. Value to availability, no idea. Again, Mike, let me know what's what. What you paid, people out there in uh, Hubbard's Cave land, let me know what you guys pay and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like big old pastry stuff, be a like the skew breakfast, like coffee maple syrup, those kind of things, you'll dig this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out in the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying Little Hubbard's Cave right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.